I wonder if they'd let Watson and me dissect your brain after you hang, of course. I'd wager there's some deformity that'd be scientifically significant. Then you too could serve a greater purpose. Holmes, you must widen your gaze. I'm concerned you underestimate the gravity of coming events. You and I are bound together on a journey that will twist the very fabric of nature. Sherlock Holmes is the greatest detective who ever lived. He didn't really live. He was created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in a lot of short stories and novels, and he's been put on film many, many times. Uh, the latest version, the 21st century version of Sherlock Holmes, stars Robert Downey Jr., who brings really great energy to the part of Holmes, and also an unusual kind of physicality. This is a Holmes that really is good with his fists, likes to be an action hero. This is a kind of Holmes we've never seen before. First, distract target. Then block his blind jab. Counter with cross to left cheek. Discombobulate. Dazed, will attempt wild haymaker. Weaken right jaw. Now fracture. Break cracked ribs. Heel kick to diaphragm. In summary, ears ringing. Jaw fractured, three ribs cracked, four broken, diaphragm hemorrhaging. Physical recovery, six weeks. Full psychological recovery, six months. Capacity to spit it back of head, neutralized. Guy Ritchie is the director. Guy Ritchie is... British director whose earlier films like Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels had a lot of high energy and it's kind of interesting up to a point to see him mix it up with the Holmes character this way. The film also has a lot of explosions, a lot of big action set pieces as many films by producer Joel Silver do. So the film has these various elements and though they're kind of entertaining, they don't kind of go together as well as you'd like them to. The film is solid, it's entertaining, but it's not transcendent the way you'd like a 21st century Sherlock Holmes film to be. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.